Hello, hello, we got Kenny Evans here. Another car video. Topic of this video is Tommy Lauren rants on men. 2020. So, this is going to be very interesting. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. So, I'm not going to play it here. But you can also go look it up for yourself if you haven't. It's very interesting. Um, she pretty much is talking about men here in 2020. She calls the men who are boys or the boys who think they're men. She's trying to give her womanly advice on how men should uh, come at women. <laughs> the irony, right? <laughs> it's always very interesting. You know, and she, she pretty much is doing this video because of her and her friends having trouble with men. Yeah, it is a uh, very, 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 very... Uh, interesting way of helping men from a, a woman's perspective but you know nonetheless we continue <laughs> and she's having issues her and her friends having issues with men from the ages of 20 to 60 years young she calls them pretty much trash all around the country Yet she is very, um, she's wondering why, how come she's having issues with men? Go figure. <laughs> I know this is a whole bunch of irony, but, you know, nonetheless, we got to learn. And hopefully she gets around to watching this video and she learns too. So she could actually do what she can do to actually improve her stock, her and her friends stock with men. So she has a list, a list of. I guess five things that she believes men can do here in 2020 to help them with uh, getting women of her quote unquote uh, value and uh, to fit her quote unquote high standards. You know, so I guess here we go. It is uh, very interesting. You know, I'm not surprised. She says she's not a, a feminist, but. She may not be. I mean, she's very conservative. If, uh, if you guys know about her from Fox News, Fox Nation. But in reality, she could just be a modern woman. That's a modern American woman. That's how a lot of American women think nowadays. You know, they think like her. They may not go all the way to the left. You know, like, um, you know, feminists do. But they still are very, very um, for women. You know, maybe not feminists per se, but they promote uh, women um, really living like on their terms and women uh, getting things because they're women, <laughs> you know? So, but here, let me, I'm gonna get into this list. First, she says, are you single? She says, not kind of single, not talking to different women, not married, not this, having a, a boy, a girlfriend or whatever. You know, and it's very ironic because if that guy was truly single, single, and he was focused on her, she would, she would run away from him. She would think he was miserable. But the fact that he may have other women, sure, if he's married, that's not good. That's not good if he's married or has a girlfriend. I mean, depending on what kind of relationship he, he has, if it's open, cool. But if it's monogamous, that's not cool. But the fact that he has other women is whether she'll admit it or not, is one of the reasons. <laughs> My bad. I thought there was a little bug there. But um, that's one of the reasons that she is attracted to that guy because he has options, whether she'll admit it or not. That is one of the reasons she's attracted to that guy. And sure, it may um, be kind of annoying if you're not getting all the attention. But at the same time, you will appreciate that because the guy's not needy and stuck on you. You know? So I don't see that as a bad thing. But I guess if you, even if you're looking for something serious, you're going to date around before you start settling down on one woman the first week you meet her. And she really appreciates that. She just she's just mad that she's not the one who's who's getting the attention, focused on her only. You know what I mean? So that's just what that is. The part two or the second um, 
thing in her list is no pen pals without intentions of meeting or um, not making a plan to meet up. Again, if you have a guy who's dealing with multiple women, sure, talking on the phone or texting back and forth too much is not good without any intention to meet up. And I do agree with her on that, you know, but sometimes if you are as a man, you're able to get a woman to meet up with you spur of the moment. What's the point of making a plan? <laughs> you know, especially if a man, obviously that tells me that she's you know, dealing with mostly men who are, are not really taking her out on dates. And another reason why you don't have to take women out on dates. She's dealing with men who don't really take her out on dates. Because sure, if you have a date, you're making a date, a plan, then you're going to set it up, you know, a day or two or a week, or, you know, in advance. But if it's just sex, y'all just hooking up. You don't really got to plan that out to maybe an hour or so, maybe earlier in the day. Sure, you can do it a day or two, but you don't really have to. If it's just sex, you know, you got your, your you know, your 30 minutes or so, however long you go, and then you go. There's nothing really to be planned out for it. You know what I mean? But, you know, she has her, her, her standards. You know, obviously she's just tired of being a, a booty call, you know, and being the woman who a guy calls, you know, spur of the moment and just hits it and, and then moves on, you know, so, but hey, that's all on her, not on the man. Uh, but her third thing she has is men have to value, value, you know, and and this is also very ironic because what she means by value value is valuing women who have something going on a career and um, you know doing more than just posting stories on Instagram but the irony of the situation is that men don't care about that stuff sure you want to deal with women who have something to lose so they are less likely to do you dirty and kind of mess with you because they will be able to, they will pay uh, repercussions for that, you know, whether you sue them or whatever. But at the same time, all your fancy degrees, your fancy job, men don't care about that. <laughs> that doesn't make you look good, you know, but she's thinking like a man. She's more in her masculine thinking that, the fancy job and all that will make a man feel more inclined to stick around and it will be a more fulfilling relationship. No, that's for you. That's what you think would be fulfilling as a man, especially a strong, confident, successful man. You're going to want some, a woman who's feminine, who is confident, but adds to your life, makes your life easier. Your degrees and your job, Obviously, and obviously attractive, an attractive woman. She fits that that bill right there. But all the other, all that other stuff, men don't care. That's not going to help a man um, be attracted to you. That's not going to help a man want to be with you long term. Unless if you plan on uh, taking care of that man, you know. Even though she says, "Hey, all that stuff will make a you know you guys have a more fulfilling relationship." Again, no. Sure, it'll be a good conversation point. But in terms of a relationship, it's not going to add any value to it. You know, she's not she's not going to be or a woman's not going to be paying for you and paying the bills and doing all that stuff. So what would a man care about all that stuff for? You know, I mean, but again, she didn't really think about that. But then what she has number four on her list is consistency. Consistency. And what she meant by that was, you know, a man, you know, texting her <laughs> five days in a row and then ghosting her, you know, or coming back maybe a week or two later. And really, that is not good either for her or the man. And the reason she is wanting that is because of her neediness. She needs to know that a man is actually interested in her. And her way of knowing that a man is interested is by him blowing up her phone. And she gets used to the attention 
and then the guy pulls away. Kind of like I was saying last week. You know, you be a, a needy man doing all that stuff, blowing up a woman's phone and then pulling away. It's him playing games. But she fell for the trick. And then now she's wondering how come he, he, he pulled away. Because he's insecure and needy. He was playing games. He wants you to chase him. And then she said, oh, women don't chase. And women shouldn't chase men. There's no man in this world that uh, a man, a woman should chase because it makes her feel like she's not desired and she's not valuable. And that's not what that means. You just are not finding men that you like. You know, and the guys that are doing these things to you as women, y'all just don't like it. You don't like those guys. You know what I mean? And then you are mad when a guy pulls away, but yet you don't want to chase him. Because you don't really like him or you're kind of so-so with him. You just when you more wanted his attention than him. And then her final part of the list is don't be a bitch. And that is a reasonable part of the list. That is reasonable. As men, we are, you know, on average, we are very... Um, sensitive and weak, um, insecure, you know, nowadays, you know, and not being a bitch is actually very good advice. You know, we have to be stronger and to be more leaders. And, um, you know, if you got women who, who do you dirty, you got to be willing to move on and have that abundance mindset. Realize there's other women out there for you who want you and will do right by you, you know, so that is, that's actually not bad. But ultimately, you know, <laughs> she is coming up with these stuff and it's kind of like, if you think about it, kind of masculine, you know, from the, are you single women deal with these things too. They're not always single, you know, pen pal. Some women will just use you for your attention. When, even if you ask her to meet up, she won't meet up. You know, value, value. Men feel like, hey, we got all these degrees, all this fancy job, all this money. But women still aren't checking for them or they're still doing them dirty. Consistency. You know, women will switch it up. That's why you get the MGTOW and red pill. But those are men who don't understand women who understand who, who think they switch up out of nowhere. There's a reason they switch up and it always starts with you. And then don't be a bitch. You know, you got men who or women who do uh, men dirty. And it's just, it's terrible. They're bitches to them, you know? And obviously men as a whole don't like that, you know? But uh, I, I think, you know, her communication style, she says she's a direct communicator for people who are bad communicators. But that is very masculine. You're supposed to be with men who are direct communicators. You as a woman who's a direct communicator, that is a huge red flag. That means you are more of a control freak. You like to, hey, you got to do this, got to do, you got to, you the stickler. Masculine men don't like that. And that's one of the reasons you're probably having trouble with men. You know what I mean? You want these alpha masculine men and these strong men, but then you're treating them like betas and weak, insecure men. So of course they're not going to stick around. You know what I mean? But, you know, she, she, she holds all this stuff. Do She says all this stuff. Is due to high standards and that's cool but her standards are more masculine they're not very feminine so she's not gonna attract very high quality strong men and eventually she'll realize that you have to be what you want to see you want to be confident you want to be feminine naturally the masculine and feminine are dichotomies so if the more feminine you are as a woman, the more masculine a man you will you attract. So if you want a more masculine, strong, confident man, be more feminine and you'll be all right. But, you know, I did want to say she did actually make a, a follow up video kind of backtracking to her defense. She took away more, she took away some blame from men. She put it on women. She said it's not all men, but she said women do do their things. In all fairness, she did backtrack, and that was cool. But she still said that men, there's still issues with men. 
But I promise, and it's true. If you think about everything that is going on, it is the it's men's fault. If it's definitely men's fault that women are the way they are. But at the same time, women definitely do some men dirty. You know what I mean? And that is what we have to understand. It's not all men, but it is mainly men. And that is where she has her point. That's just how she went about saying it. It wasn't the best. It was just a little bit too masculine for me. And I really feel like um, it's part of her problem. Just her energy and her personality. So... Um, she's definitely known for controversy and, um, you know, she definitely knows how to stir the pot a little bit, but, you know, I understand where she's coming from, but she just had to change her view a little bit, in my opinion. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I got. Let me know what y'all think. You know, you think I'm crazy. You think, uh, Tommy Lauren was correct in all this and, you know, it's all men or do you think, sure, there's a woman who got that part to play in this too. You know, they definitely got to take their responsibility. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments. Hey, and of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button for whenever I do make some new videos. And of course, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to donate. I appreciate anything you want to donate. You know, so until next week, y'all be safe. And I'll see y'all then. Peace.